So now my next question is, is really a, a bit of a technical detail, but it makes a big difference. Because as you know, everything is about conversion rate. Yes. So the scenario we're talking about is somebody came to your, they, they did their search, either sponsored product or otherwise, and they landed on your product detail page. Mm -hmm. And they hit add to cart. Yes. And never purchased it. That gets registered as uh, sessions. Exactly. Right. It's one session. When you look at your reports, your performance reports, or business reports, to see what your traffic is, what your conversion is, you are going to see one session, zero mm -hmm. conversion. Yes. Within that 90 day time frame, they make the purchase. What happens to the conversion? Where is that registered? So, okay, I see a point. Interesting. So, if you have a session, okay, let's say somebody, yeah, as you mentioned, somebody clicks, make a session, but it's no conversion. Um, because let's say you go to the business report and you look at last 30 days or let's say last seven days, last se uh, seven days and you see and that moment on time, I think that this is the important thing. I need to double check this and of course I can then confirm it, but I'm pretty sure this is how it works. Is like if you go to a business report, you look at last seven days and you have access to sessions and conversions. In that moment of time, let's say right now, 7.30 UK time, I go to the business report and run that. It's going to tell me in that instance if the conversion happened when I'm looking right now or not. What does it mean? It means like if I run a tailor promotion tomorrow and right now it's telling me one session, zero conversion, but tomorrow I run that retargeting and the conversion happens, tomorrow or two days from now when I check again, it should say one session, one conversion because you still need to wait 72 hours for attribution time. So I'm pretty sure that's how it should be. Uh, I never encounter a person asking me that before. And it's a very clever question, but I'm sure that when you report, when you when you see a report on, on Amazon, that's why we always say to clients, I'm pretty sure you, you do this all the time. You need to wait 72 hours for attribution. It's because of that delay sometimes in data. So I'm pretty sure that it's on the moment you see the report. So in the moment you're seeing the report, you didn't run the Taylor promotion yet and the conversion didn't happen. It's going to show a zero. But if you run tomorrow and then you check again on Saturday and the conversion did happen, the business report is going to go one session, one conversion. So, so I'm here to confirm something to, with you. Okay, go on. So we, you know, as you know, we've got a platform and yeah. our source is business reports and we fetch it at child skew level. So when we built an early versions of uh, version of this platform, uh, we were doing this manual. We were, we just wanted oh. to prove the concept. So we will download the data for each calendar day and then upload it into wow. our system <laughs> to see yeah. how it would work. And so manual download each calendar day. It's not not big deal, one download, one upload. That's all it was per, per uh, subscriber. Yeah. So then business reports became available through the API. Okay. And we start we, we implemented it. So now it's all automated. So about three months ago now, we had, we started to audit the numbers. Okay. And guess what? Our numbers never match business reports. So no. Seller Central. No, never, and never. guess what was always different? Sessions what? were always the same. But the number of orders, unit unit sales, and uh, and the order product sales, they were always different. So we discovered that Amazon was going back and changing the numbers. <laughs> so, so, in a good way or a bad way, you think? 
in a good way. I mean, in a good way, because there is no other way to do this because there is no more visit exactly. back to the product page, right? So what are you going to register there? The session has already been registered. You have already the click, so to speak. And of course, it was already registered in the search query performance as a card ad yeah. for that week. But the purchase didn't happen. Exactly. So when the purchase finally does happen, what what is the impact? It's the yeah. unit units okay. ordered, order product sales. So those are the ones. If it's B two B, of course that changes also. Yeah. So those are the things. So I can tell you that with hundred percent certainty, what I did not know was how many days can it they takes. go back, and we now know it's ninety days. Yeah. So, so this actually presents a problem for SaaS companies because they you have to fetch the data every day for the last 90 days. To save it. Yeah, I know. I know. So, I mean, that's good that you confirmed this to me because if, I, if I'm not mistaken, it means like my reasoning was correct. So that's good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because, yes. Because... Uh, I always thought I, I knew that from a fact and we see that on our reporting as well. Like you can have X amount of uh, conversions today and orders and you check again on Saturday is different the number. It takes time to clean the data. Yeah. And goes back. Yeah. yeah. Now this presents another issue for another report. That's the search query performance. Search query performance, if you are if you are like so hot on search query performance and you're really using it, and then you've done your thing about you know downloading and setting up the whole visualization and blah, blah. Don't think that that's absolute data because it's available weekly and monthly. So whatever you've downloaded today may in fact be different tomorrow for the same week because some people may take advantage of this campaign and make yeah. purchases. Then, of course, it's going to have a different purchase rate. Card ad will stay the same, but the purchase rate will change. Yeah. So I totally on board with you. I mean, it's something that even when we go and look at the search query performance, and, and uh, I'm going to use this point to mention a tip. When you look at the reporting range, guys, I never do weekly. It's, it's gambling. I never do weekly.